All right, into chapter six, we shall venture towards. And uh, this will be probably the end. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what time we end this chapter. A few weeks later, I received an invitation from Bishop Waleran. In Winchester, we and Waleran's allies were to meet King Stephen himself. The bishop seemed assured that because we had helped the king, Stephen would support us in return. And that with his help, we would be able to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. Yeah, but what's the what's the price in doing so? Winchester Courtyard. Percy Hanley. Bishop Waleran. Good morning. Ali! It's them! Over there! The Hamleys! Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Good morning. Bishop Henry, this is my prior. Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge, my Lord Bishop. You won't have to say much today, Philip. Leave the talking to us. No, leave the talking to me. King Stephen is my brother, after all. Let us make haste. My brother is an early riser. Chapter 6. The Hamleys. We must make haste. I want to go hunting in the new forest. England is full of game. No comparison to Normandy. This country is still wild. This is Waylor and Bygood, the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Waylor and I remember you. We've met before. And Percy Hamley. My king. He brought Bartholomew to justice. And it's not the first time he's helped me. He has Norman blood in him. <laughs> we should hunt together someday. Indeed, sire. Bartholomew, on the other hand, will not leave the jail alive. Uh, Percy Hamley did not do it without help, my lord. It was I who told him of the plot against you. And now you come to be rewarded as well. I see. My brother, the Cathedral of Kingsbridge has burnt down. Waleron asks for a reward, not for himself. He asks for our church. I take it your church cannot afford to rebuild that cathedral, Henry. Neither can the crown. I, or rather Bishop Waleron, had an idea. You could give the Earl of Shiring's lands to the Bishop of Kingsbridge to finance the rebuilding of the cathedral. I like the idea. But Percy and his men were the ones who took Owl's castle, not Bishop Waleran. Right, Percy? Uh, yes, my king. He knows the area, and he will be a loyal earl, will you not? Of course, my king. You ought to give thanks to God first. God made you king. Don't go on like that, Henry. Don't do that. You know what happens when you do that. It was a long way to this throne. A long way. Yes, my brother. Now I will hunt. My Lord King, I thank you for being willing to reconsider the future of the Shiring Earldom. When shall we hear your decision? 
tomorrow. Bring my bow. Tell the men we hunt. Alright. So what happened? Philip, Waylon and I have much to discuss. Alright. But what can I do to help? Well, my brother asked me to get a confession from the traitor Bartholomew. A confession would be helpful against those who believe Bartholomew's arrest was unjust. And it may help us to convince my brother to forget all about his promise to Percy Hamley. Bishop Henry said a confession from Bartholomew may help us. Got it. Help us or help them. So, uh, where is it that I mind the group of nobles? Percy Hamley will have the Oldham of Shiring. But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen but wanted the throne for 20 Earl? years. Mm. Now that he has it, he must be loyal oh. to those who are loyal to him. <laughs> who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the strings. Oh, oh, oh. does she now? <laughs> Oh. oh, let's go to this group of knights, shall we? Bartholomew and his followers would have only been the first wave. Robert of Gloucester remains, and he will attack. And that's what you keep telling us. Maybe because the king likes to hear that you share his worries about Robert of Gloucester. Robert of Gloucester wants to see his sister on the throne. He will attack. And the Welsh will fight on his side. You mark my words. Oh, mark your words. Oh, 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 oh. Um. No, I won't just leave. I must do something to help our priory. How could you let her get away? That little bitch. I will oh, find her mother. She was here. Why? To see her father, of course. But that won't help her. She has already made a fool of you once. Don't let it happen that again. Bitch. No, mother. <laughs> that little bitch. <laughs> Jesus. All right. William Hamley. Oh. <laughs> he was with Bishop Wilred. Oh. Lord and Lady Hamley. Monk. It's about time oh, you showed up. Oh, is it up. now, m'lady? Uh -huh. Regan Hamley? We have not been formally introduced. You are How a do fool. I know? Is that formal enough for you, monk? You don't understand any of this, No, do I you? don't. It's as if you've never How set a single foot you, outside your little pro- How you let yourself be used by those two greedy bishops, I'll never know. <laughs> Waleran wants the lands of the Earldom for himself. Henry knows that. Say something. You don't believe me, do you, monk? You are only worrying about your husband's land. Well, of course I am, and you should be too. If Waleran wins, we both lose. How so? I know you don't trust me. Do you have a way to... Prove any of this? Ride with my son, William. Just a few hours. I will prove to you that Waleran will betray you. All right. I will ride with your son, if only to prove you wrong. Very well. Maybe you're not a fool after all. But do not let the bishop see you. Oh, you got it. William? What? Ride with Father Philip. Do as I said. Yes, William. <laughs> oh shit, we're back on the map. William Hamley declined to tell me where we were heading. He enjoyed keeping me in the dark and forcing me to follow his lead. Sometimes he sped ahead on his war horse and it took me some effort to catch up. But sooner or later he would stop and wait, sneering as I rejoined him. Yeah, I forget to auto advance. On one occasion, he stood there urinating against a rock. When I caught up with him, he turned without covering himself. He found my shock at his shameful behavior comical. 
He laughed, got back into the saddle, spurred his horse and rode off. Again, I followed, hoping this journey had not been another horrible mistake. So where are we off to, Sir Philip? <laughs> Near a bridge, I found William with a group of washerwomen. He was shouting at them. When I arrived, I could only hear their replies. They said that they had not seen a girl or a boy fitting his description. A younger, blonde woman said that even if she had seen the girl, she would not tell him. Apparently, she had heard of William Hamley. William grabbed the startled-looking woman by the arm. He shoved his right hand under her skirt. She started crying. The other women asked William to stop, but were afraid to anger him. William turned and grinned when he saw me approaching. Yes. What an ass. When he heard my words, William's grin faded. He pushed the young woman away. The other women looked at me in a strange way. They must have asked themselves why a monk would ride with such a man as William. We rode off, and William stared at me full of well, spite. Good. Fuck, fuck William. Fuck that man. Not literally, him but you know. Him. I Push him off the ditch. Why, because I had no words like, oh, for no. it. Oh no, God will have you. We did not you. <laughs> talk after that. Not for a long it's time. It's not too soon to meet God. So then, uh, making a stop. William talked to more strangers along the way. First, I believed he was asking for directions. Then I realized that money was changing hands. William was paying these people for information. I was glad that for now he had lost interest in hurting others. Then I saw an old woman pointing William to a bearded man on a horse. William called the man a horse thief. Then he grinned and signaled the puzzled man to get on his horse and ride with him. They rode faster and faster, and I could not hear what more they talked about. William bluntly threatened to have the man hanged for stealing a horse of his and then ordered him to hunt down the real thieves in exchange for his life. The man laughed as if he had made a great bargain. William even paid him. Before the man rode off north, William mentioned a name. Aliena. And I prayed that whatever William's plan was, that it would fail. Then William waved at me to ride faster. I reckoned we had to be close to where Lady Hamley wanted us to go. Not long after, my stomach turned as I realized just where exactly we were bound. Oh shit. Arrival at the Bishop Wilderance Palace. Bro. Oh, excuse me. The Palace of Bishop Wilderance, by God. Just a moment. What? You know very well that Bishop Whaleran is in Winchester now. So what are we doing here? No idea. Mother never tells me anything. She treats me and father like damn children. It's a wonder father ever got to fuck her in the first <laughs> place. But here I am, and I'm starving. Damn, I'm starving. Where are you going? In there. No! I'm sure the bishop would want to see me well fed. We won't be staying long, so whatever it is you've got to do, do it fast. I hate this man so much. How can I help you? How about you step aside? Alright, why did Regan Hamley send us here? What is Wailrin's secret? So there's a horse, and there's a gate. Uh -huh. Let's go to the horse first. See what's up with the horse. It looks like a northern name. William forgot to close his saddlebag. Oh yeah? Oh, what's this letter from William's saddlebag? A letter dated January 11, 36, William. 
Your worries are very understandable. Killing is a sin. And hell awaits all sinners. <laughs> How could killing ever be a sin when a life is taken to protect God and our church? In such a holy battle, you become the sword of God, as do all the brave and valiant knights that join our crusades to the Holy Land. Their father is their armor, their sins are forgiven. You are the sword of God, and as a bishop, I am the hand of God. As long as the hand guides the sword, your sins shall be forgiven. Uh, bishop Welvin by God. Well then, that's very... That doesn't, that doesn't seem good. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast. <laughs> so then, that's my horse, right? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's the, that's a palace, isn't it? the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? What is that? Wilrin has a construction site of his own. What is he building out there? Huh. Is this why Regan Hamley thinks that Waylorin wants the lands of Shiring for himself? He is the bishop. He can do as he pleases. Perhaps he is just building a guest house. No, it is too big for that. What in the name of Christ is he building out there? What in the name of Christ? Okay. Uh, okay. That's about all I'm gonna get. Time is it? It's 11 p.m. I have work tomorrow, but you know what? Honestly, screw work. Oh, hello there. And how are you? My name is Sir, I mean, uh, Father Philip. You, please. Uh huh. I saw you arriving with him. I don't know who you are, but you have to help me. What happened? He forced me to serve him food. He took the Lord's name in vain, and he pushed me and touched me. Oh, God. Ah, the monk. Oh. Did the boy call you? So what, did he ask you for help? Did he? he didn't have to say anything. I knew you would get us in trouble. Trouble? Me? We're young men, he and I, and I play rough. So what? I asked you to leave. And that is what we will do. What will the bishop think of your behavior? Listen, we're all on the same side here. We are not. You, me, him, we're all working for the bishop. He won't mind. I play rough, so what? <sighs> we are all men of God. Well, uh, how are you working for the bishop? You already forgot. I found you, back in Kingsbridge, when I escorted him. You did not find me. The bishop and I got talking. We have an understanding. An understanding about what? I took Earl's castle for him. Your parents agreed to arrest Bartholomew because they wanted his earldom. Who cares what they think? I felled Bartholomew's men with my sword. The old man was 
begging me for his life. On his knees, he begged me. I did it for the bishop. What? But hey, I'm sure you did great things for him as well. <laughs> you think my father took Earl's castle? <laughs> He's too fat. It is time to leave. Is it? This is the second time you've spoken to me as if I was some snot-nosed child. Get on your horse! Come on, say it again! Well... I would have fucked that woman if it hadn't been for you. And what would that have achieved? She'd have learnt her lesson. And don't you think I noticed how you spied on me and that horse thief? I should kill you for that. Then I should. do it! Let me tell you. I will fuck Bartholomew's whore of a daughter. I will fuck her good. I'm a man! <laughs> sure you are. Damn it, I'd fuck the boy if that was the only way to put him in his place. Hell, he looks like he'd enjoy it too. Ugh. Not even God would forgive those sins. Of course he would. He already did. The bishop told me. Oh, yeah. Then the bishop is wrong. <gasps> hey, we're on the same side here. Now, we will stay here a while longer, as I've not finished eating. Oh, no, no, we... Shit. Bishop finds out about this, he will not be pleased. I have to fix this. Throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What? Hell. It is a depiction of hell. The bishop said the relief intimidates even his most impious visitors. They all fear death. I'm not afraid to die. Do not fear those who kill the body. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Who's he? The devil, a fallen angel. I have nothing to be afraid of. Cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars. Their souls are the devils. They will all go to hell. Stop it! Hell is far away. I'm not afraid. You sure? It looks so alive. Perhaps the artist has actually seen the devil. Are you afraid? It's just stone. Hell is far away. Make him go. I want him to leave. Now. I know. I know you do. And if anyone's name was not found written in the Book of Life, he was thrown into the Lake of Fire. What's that? It's from the scripture. The end of days. The second death of the sinners. Bishop Whaleran said that if a sinner stares into the flame, the devil stares back from the Lake of Fire. What? Hmm. I can't see him. <laughs> what is it? I... We ride back to Winchester. Now! Oh, no, hold on, wait, no, hold on. I wanna, I wanna look around some more. What happened? Maybe he saw things to come. How can I thank you? Uh... 
tell me, what is being built out there? What? A substantial construction is underway, it seems. Yes, but... What is it? A castle. Uh, the bishop is building a castle. Wellrun is building a castle and has run out of materials. A castle? Why a castle? I don't know. It is not for me to ask or question the bishop. Of course. And I doubt it's for you to question him either. That man, I believe the, the, the correct pronunciation no is either. Came here, had he? You came here to spy on the bishop. You brought this man here. I... Leave. Go. But leave the table where? I only wanted to tidy up the table. Later, back in Winchester. There you are. My son seemed thoughtful when he returned. You priests and your talk, <laughs> you always get to him. He seemed more excited after talking to your bishop, though. Then again, we know Waleran is good with words. Don't we, my husband? Of course, yes. Speaking of Waleran, what did you find, <laughs> monk? I'll tell you. Why not? A construction site. Ah. So Waleran has a building project of his own. Did you also find out what he yes. is building? Yes, a castle. Yep. Yes. He is building a castle for himself. And he used up every stone and every tree on his own lands. He claims he wants Bartholomew's land for your cathedral. But what Waleran wants is a castle. Huh. He's always been like that. Not long ago, you accused us of being selfish. But what about your bishop, eh? Yeah. What do you want from me? As prior of Kingsbridge, you will agree that my husband shall have the whole earldom of Shiring. And why would I do you a favor like that? Because we will support the rebuilding of your cathedral with our stones and our timber. The king can live up to all of his promises. And Waleran gets nothing. That is our offer. What do you say? Now, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking. Right. Um. These. These two are. They're upfront about what they want. And obviously, she. She doesn't, you know, go around people's backs telling. Uh, like what they want and she she knows what she's doing everybody knows what she's doing you know and she has no ulterior motives but well run on the other hand why go about it such underhanded way speaking and preaching about God and doing such turning his back right I mean I'm gonna have to agree to the deal I agree. Ah. At least then. Did you hear, my husband? Yes, you said he'd agree. My husband will let the king know of our agreement. Bishop Waleran will be quite yeah, surprised. Will. You will see his true face when he does not get what he wants. Yeah, that sounds about right. Good day. You come to visit someone in my jail, father, or do you want to pick out a nice warm cell for uh, yourself? How, about both? how dare you? Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. See? A smile. Just for you, father. Um. Bishop Henry sends me. The bishop, eh? What does he want? He wants me to talk to Bartholomew of Shiring. Bartholomew of Shiring. Ah. It's only Bartholomew now.
It's his fourth day without bread. Soon he won't even be Bartholomew anymore. Oh! Oh, shit! Bartholomew. Oh, this I is the, brother the guy that Jack saw. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? What the, what the hell's going on here? What? Holy shit! <laughs> Could you forgive those that wronged you? Only God forgives. A monk should know that. Why did you go against the king? Stephen sent you. Why would you side with the usurper? I was asked to make you confess. <laughs> Stronger men tried that before you. Why should I confess to you? Your people found refuge in my priory. Your confession will help me to give them work and shelter. I have no sins to confess. My only regret is that I failed. I will not tell the king that. They will kill you. They have already done that. Monk, tell them that I confessed. To what? All of it. Treason. But the son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father. Tell Stephen that as well. You know the scripture. Richard and Aliena, my children, they must live. Okay. I guess I can do that. And a good day to you too, father. They have done enough harm to that man. No need. We said all there was to say. No need. We said all there was to say. Uh, talk to the bishops. I can do that. All right then, shall we? <clears throat> ah, Philip. What is it? He confessed to everything. But he asks for clemency for his children. Good. I will let my brother know what we have achieved today once he returns from the hunt. Good, Philip. You did well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> About Bartholomew's children. My brother was never one to judge a man by the deeds of his father. Still, I shall mention Bartholomew's request to him. Uh, I won't provoke him. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Yes, there is not much a monk can do here. Yes, your bishop and I will do what we can to help your priory. My loyal subject, Percy Hamley, today becomes the Earl of Sharing. Of the former Earl's possessions, Percy shall have the castle. And all the land that is tenanted to knights, and all farmlands, pastures, Forests and quarries. I swear by all that is holy to be your liegeman and to fight for you against any other. M my king. Ah, yes. Of course, I have not forgotten the worries of my bishops. Mm. The Earl of Sharing himself, Percy here, solved this problem for me. 
Thanks to him, I can uphold my promise. Don't worry, Bishop Waleran. Kingsbridge shall be rebuilt. Percy told me of a man here whom my brother has not yet introduced. Come forward, Prior. My brother, may I present to you Philip of Gwynedd. My king. You seem afraid. What are you worried about? I'm worried about my priory and the cathedral. I heard about the fire. How are you managing? On the day of the fire, God sent us a builder, but we cannot pay him. Don't worry, you can. Now, about the arrangement between you and Percy Hamley. He told me that he wants to support you in financing timber and stone for your new cathedral. I wholeheartedly agree with the plan you two have devised. It shall be done. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. It seems unnecessarily complicated to give the land to the bishop. Percy told me that you, Father Philip, share that sentiment. He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing wait, the rebuilding wait, 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 of the wait. cathedral yourself. Wait, hold on. Sorry. BRB. All right, we're back. Had to uh, go pee for a quick second. And we're back. He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing the rebuilding of the cathedral yourself. I... Wonderful. I'm glad that we all were able to help you, Bishop Waleran, in this pressing matter. After all you have done for me. Thank you, Lord King. Bartholomew lost everything in his attempt to end my reign. This morning he was found dead in his cell. I've heard that you, Pra, worry for his children, Richard and Aliena. While they shall lose their status, their name, and their land, they shall go free, wherever they are. You must be very proud, Lady Hamley. Of course. Father Philip has been very understanding in all this. Yes, he is remarkable. Very remarkable. My husband and I were terrified when we heard about the fire in Kingsbridge. It is a blessing that we can help him and his priory now. You sowed the wind, Philip. Oh, yeah? Is that a threat, Bishop Wilderin? Eh? Break it on, bitch. All right. Chapter 6, The Hamleys. You went to see Bartholomew in his cell. He rode with William to the bishop's palace and uncovered Wilderin's secret. Wilderin's servant thinks you are a thief and is su suspicious of your motives. Uh, you agree to a pact with the Hamleys on their terms. Bishop Wilvern believes you betrayed him. Good. Uh, we will stop right there. And you know what? I have time for the, the last chapter in this book. So give me a second. We will stop the recording and begin anew for chapter 7.